Hello and welcome to NorCal Timberfaller, the channel that is both educational and entertaining. My name is Dan Leeper and today I'm going to show you how to wedge a small tree and this is method number three. Uh, this method is kind of for more experienced users and so it's not something you should do if you are um, not real experienced or or getting better getting more experience I should say uh, kind of takes a little bit more trial and error so let's get to it I'll show you method number three for wedging a small tree okay so it's a lot a lot like um, Method number one, just a little bit of a difference. Okay, same idea here. Just go ahead and Side in your back cut where you think you want it to go. Pull out, put in a couple of wedges. Yeah, let's not use that one. The dull one here. Okay, put the face cut in. We're gonna leave a nice fat strap uh, or a fat hinge. And then we're gonna do something to that hinge, but I'll show you that. Okay, so here's where it differs from the other. Got a really pretty good size hinge. So that should keep it from moving forward if you were wrong about the lean. But what we're gonna do now is basically bore out the face. It should make it easier to wedge, but leaving the two corners. All right, so I could show you on the stump here how that worked. So put the back cut in first. Put in our two wedges. Left a nice fat hinge. And normally that hinge would have been really hard to wedge if we hadn't bored that center out but that prevented it in case we were wrong about it going forward that was preventative for that and then gutted that out which allowed 
to go forward so easily so the thing is and it also you could wedge into that if you had to so the thing is with this one by cutting into the face if you are wrong about the lean you could technically get pinched or something and so that's that's why it's for more a little more advanced uh, method number two is the most foolproof surefire way um, another method with this is just simply rather than necessarily boring the face out you can cut further into the face a little bit and then wedge it and it's just a little bit faster but like I said it's only for that's all all kind of practice and stuff like that but uh, that's uh, that's method number three I don't really think there's anything else I can add to that anyways um, just if you like this stuff go ahead and like and subscribe and thanks for watching